Well, uh, we're almost finished with July, but you know, you know what? Better late than never to post a bullet journal. <laughs> so, I'm not gonna explain why I was so late on this video, but uh, it killed me to not be using my bullet journal after all this time. I'm only at the very end of the month almost, just a week before, and I haven't really touched this thing at all. Life got crazy, stressful, stuff like that. Excuses, I know. But uh, the theme is my birthday. <laughs> Since uh, July is my birth month, I did have a good birthday. Um, figure it'd be a little cute and just draw for a scene with a bunch of animals celebrating possibly the bear's birthday, I think? I'm not honestly sure whose birthday it is on this picture, but they're all having fun and it's cute and adorable and I think I like the bear the most. I didn't really plan out this picture very well in my opinion. I mean, I planned the sketch out, but the color schemes, I wasn't really feeling them. <laughs> I mean, it's just a normal forest scene, but uh, something about it just didn't sit well with me at the very end of this picture. Maybe because I'm not used to drawing so many characters in the scene, at least different colored characters. I don't know. At least with the, that's acrylics. I'm used to doing it digitally, but acrylics is a bit different. <clears throat> but I definitely felt like I was really rusty when I was doing this. I hadn't done anything art related in a while, and so while I was painting, I just felt like I was making every mistake, like I was supposed to erase the, the sketch a bit so the lines wouldn't show through the paint. I didn't. And then, uh, like I said, I didn't plan out the color scheme very well, so I made a lot of mistakes while I was doing that. And also, my camera settings are not correct, so the colors on the camera keep changing. I tried to fix this in a premiere. It was just too difficult to even do. Yeah, I... <laughs> it, it was... It was an adventure. <laughs> because I have a video camera now for my live... Not my live streams. For my time lapses like this. For just art in general. Because I was tired of using a my vlogging camera basically for this but my vlogging camera had the best settings because I sat down and figured it out well this camera I'm still figuring it out <laughs> I've never really played with a video camera before so it's definitely an experiment for sure but you would be surprised to know that for some reason, this painting took me three days. I was just not feeling it. I could not force myself to do this. No idea why. I really don't. It was a very simple painting and I just was just putting it off. Have you ever dealt with that? Where you just don't feel like doing something but you know you have to do it? Well, technically I didn't have to do this, but I don't want to disappoint you guys. It's badly as I've disappointed you guys to, for the past how many weeks has it been I don't know it's been too many it felt weird not doing any kind of art not doing anything in general I definitely either I had oh, pushed myself too much and I was just worn out or it was because life was just tiring me out because the issues with job issues and stuff like that. You'll hear it. If you watch my vlogs, you'll hear all about it. But this was a lovely little pick. I definitely love forest scenes. Um, one of my friends, she said that it made her think of a child book. Children's book. Oh, wow. <laughs> and yeah, I can see where she's coming from. It definitely feels really colorful and friendly. Very bright. But I feel like I could have added more, like maybe made better shading on the animals, like the way that, because when light comes through trees, like through the leaves, they leave all kinds of little patterns on the ground, and I did not do that. <laughs> so maybe they're just under an open space, I, I don't know. 
but I felt like I could have added like I could have added more to this. Oh my god, my yawning. Still something that doesn't go away. <laughs> After all this time, I still yawn during these videos. It's a curse. A never-ending curse. And sometimes I have to try to hide it. But hopefully the next video I'll have this image issue fixed. Because watching this as I'm recording my voice, it actually bugs me a lot seeing the way the colors keep changing because I had fixed I had finally figured out how to fix that in my other videos and now now it's back <laughs> uh, I think it's something to do with white balance exposure shutter speed because if you watch my hands close enough sometimes you can see like this weird blind effect as it goes I shouldn't be pointing these things out to you I why am I doing this? <laughs> but I critique myself. I I have to. And just I feel like I could have done better for you guys. So, in if you want, just ignore me complaining about art as you watch me do art. <laughs> Lovely. But my birthday was great. Um, well, kind of. It was it was a very quiet birthday. Um, which you know could be good, but. You know, it was my big 3-0. I am now officially 30 years old. Uh, a lot of people always make 30 out to be like this crazy thing, so I thought my birthday would be a lot more interesting because, you know, I've hit the, the moment in life that's crazy, but ah, it wasn't. It was just another day. <laughs> I got some cool things, which I think I put on my vlog, but mostly video games and my friends sent me things and it, it was it was really nice and then the next day I finally got to see Jurassic World and it wasn't as good as I was hoping it would be it was very disappointing I was hoping it'd be great but it wasn't huh. anyways <laughs> so here I decided to do of course my habit tracker I did flowers this time it was fun to count 31 petals <laughs> for each flower. Very interesting. And of course, even though I did all this work, I still didn't do all of those little petals, unfortunately. Uh, with teeth, not so hard, but I really didn't read much and I really didn't write much. I really need to remedy these issues. But, you yeah, know, we're human. We're all human. I really like that little bee though. The little line thing that I always show from my bees, that's inspired by Winnie the Pooh. All of the Winnie the Pooh uh, books, I think movies as well, does that little line after the bees. And here's a mistake I actually did on my work schedule. Usually I put the days, like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, blah blah blah, on the little strip and then put the numbers of the days on the left side. I realized that way too late and didn't feel like changing it. So, you know, something different. Um, I guess I could just write the numbers by, or not, uh, not numbers, the uh, days, but I think that would be too much. That'd be too much work. Way too much work. And because the there was just so much paint on the other side of the page, <laughs> the work schedule was kind of billowing above the page. You can just barely see it. And here is my mood tracker. And when we come back to this mood tracker, you will notice that um, there's definitely a mood change because if you see my dinosaur one from last month, there was a lot of stressed um, colors all throughout. Oh goodness. But now it's much more happier. I feel a lot more settled than I was for a long, a long, long time. It's just, it's so nice to not be so extremely stressed over life, just to chill for once in a blue moon, which is how me doing these bullet journals happen again. And I picked the most easiest tasks I could for the goals. Um, I figured because I don't have much time 
you know, I need to do something different. And then this, now you get to see my full schedule for dailies, the way they look, because usually you only see a couple days. But I skipped to basically this week to make it seem a little less claustrophobic on all those pages, because they're going to be a bunch of empty pages. But anyways, this is my journal. It looks still good, in my opinion, for something that I'm only going to be using for another week and a few days. And then you'll see my next one very soon. So I'm sorry for making you all wait, and I hope you can all forgive me. But the next one coming uh, is coming very soon. So I'll get I'll see you guys here in a bit. <laughs> Bye.